Kendrick Lamar is an industry plant. Whether his worshipers, his super fans, his stands choose to accept that or not, which I wholeheartedly, which I already know they refuse to accept it. But Kendrick Lamar is what you would call controlled opposition. If you're wondering what's controlled opposition, it's someone who pretends to go against the system when they're secretly working for that very same system that they oppose. So they'll create a leader for you just so they can control that leader because mentally they know the power of influence and they know that it's a bunch of robots out there they can control how far whatever they need to go for example riots if a celebrity comes out and provokes a riot or provoke or start a march protest if we control that person if they're our puppet no different than malcolm x no different than martin luther king we dictate how far they go. So when we kill that person off, the movement ends. They get you all riled up. But Kendrick Lamar is 100% working with the elites. Now, many people won't believe that or find it hard to believe because he presents himself as a conscious rapper. He comes off as this revolutionary spirit, a product and an offspring to Tupac Shakur, someone who wants to go against the system someone who is pro-black fighting for his people literally has a song right now that chants they not like us who is us nigga you not like us you a millionaire you don't live in compton no more you don't live in the hood bro you ain't gotta endure a black struggle no more nigga but you're still signed to that very same system your music, majority of your music is owned by those people. One of the telltale signs that Kendrick Lamar is a part of the fraternity and the higher ups is a pose that he did for a magazine cover alongside his supposed cousin, Baby King. And also I have you know, the Illuminati is said to have a bloodline, meaning that majority of the artists, the presidents, the entertainers, Everybody's related through a bloodline, which is why you see rappers like Glorilla revealing that Lil Uzi Vert is really her cousin and um, Cardi B is her blood cousin. And you'll see so many celebrities, they're supposedly family. So these people are not just organically just getting on and also the founder of Strange Music, which is a label that the rapper Tech 9 and the guy Travis O'Gwen formed the label together strange music but tech nine is a part of that label that's his business partner but even he revealed in an interview that top dog entertainment they weren't really independent and that they were getting major label funding but they were selling to the public that they were independent but they really weren't and at that time there was this brand new startup called fontana fontana was the storefront for universal's independent distribution people realized there was going to be a shift into more independent music. You know, we started being, we was independent in 2000, 99, 2000, when the shit wasn't cool. Independent music in 2000 and rap, that wasn't sexy, that's not cool. And, and now it's like the thing, you know what I mean? Like everybody wants to be independent or at least claim independent. Even when they're not independent, they claim independent. Even when they're not independent, they claim independent. Even when they're not independent, they claim independent. You feel me? You know, I, I watched, you know, TDE. We, we, we did a partnership with them when I signed J-Rock. And, and we did a first right of refusal on, on everybody, Kendrick, Schoolboy, all those guys. And, uh, you know, they even after the deal on Kendrick, nobody knew that he still wasn't wholly independent for quite some time. They didn't know Interscope was in the background. They didn't know Interscope was in the background. They didn't know Interscope was in the background. But, um, you know, independent is that new shit. And the reason that a lot of these labels do that is because people buy into the underdog story. Someone who appears like them, someone who made it out of the inner cities and became successful. The audience, people want to feel like they discovered a new artist on their own. They want to introduce people to this new artist that they supposedly came across on the internet, on social media, when nine times out of 10, that artist was put in front of their face, pushed up the algorithms for them to be discovered. And then when he gets signed, it's like, we made it. I watched his grind. I watched his come up. 
So they believe that it's natural. It happens organic as if they got it out the mud. And that's why I say I don't even think that Kendrick Lamar is really from Compton. It's all a facade where you see him wearing a black apron that already had been exposed years ago that there was a black version of the Illuminati, the so-called Illuminati. But this whole world is operated by hidden forces. Maybe you want to call it the Illuminati, secret societies, devil worshippers, Satanists, so on and so forth. But Kendrick Lamar is 1000% a part of the fraternity. One of the telltale signs, as I said, was with the pose that he did for the magazine cover. They put this stuff right in your face. But some people are so enamored. Some people are idol worshippers. And God specifically stated, there shouldn't be no idolatry. You shouldn't worship no one but the man himself. Kendrick Lamar walks around donning the Jesus crown of thorn on his head as if he's God. Kendrick Lamar could care less about you fans, especially the black ones. But Kendrick Lamar is 1000% pushing the same agenda that Black Lives Matter pushed. This is why Kendrick Lamar gets, gets endorsed by the popular figures such as LeBron James. You notice every time it's time for Kendrick Lamar to put out an album, LeBron James is promoting the album. The fake Bob in his head as if he's really loving the song. If you're not getting no money from it, LeBron James is not going to support something that he's not getting no money from. He's a puppet as well. Barack Obama, he endorsed Kendrick Lamar. And guess what? Barack Obama hasn't done nearly nothing for black people other than being cultured, being hip. Having a jump shot and knowing how to shoot a basketball. Having relationships with a bunch of rappers that we like. Using black slang and other than that, Barack Obama and a lot of his policies, a lot of the bills that he passed, it did nothing to help black people. Kendrick Lamar is 1000% an industry plan. You go back and you look at the video that he did with Rihanna. There was a lot of evil, satanic imagery, demonic imagery. What I took from the Kendrick Lamar humble video, you had a bunch of people who were thinking on one accord, just like the Illuminati wants for us to do. One society, one thought, one mind, everybody thinking alike, pushing the devil's agenda. They want to program us to have these sick thoughts in our minds. If you think about it, Kendrick Lamar really had no real beef with Drake. He didn't. You think about at least with Tupac and Biggie, their fake stage beef that I believe it was fake and stage, right? At least there was a backstory. You know, Tupac went to Quad Studios and he got shot. He was robbed and he thought Biggie set him up. But with Kendrick and Drake, there's no real beef. <laughs> Nothing. We didn't find out Drake slept with Kendrick girl. Kendrick slept with Drake girl. Or they got into a fight, a scuffle. Nothing. People in their entourages had beef like they really had no real beef and when you listen to kendrick's songs you're utilizing kendrick lamar to normalize hating having hate in your heart vitriol in your heart just think about it he had no real reason to dislike drake he's saying i hate the way you walk i hate the way you talk i hate this i hate that i hate that what did your mother say hate is a mean word what you hate this man for he gained you paid he made you relevant again. Because everybody was talking about how trash your album was. So you should thank Drake. He the one who put you on. The message that Kendrick Lamar pushed is to keep the mind enslaved. It's no different than what Black Lives Matter was doing. Gaslighting people. Wanting you to keep thinking that you're a slave. You're oppressed. It's the same agenda that Colin Kaepernick and Nike was pushing being so pro-black, but in essence, everything that you're still supporting, everything that you're patronizing and spending your dollar on is going back to the white man. The same people who you think are oppressing you. Kendrick Lamar, you so pro-black, right? Top Dog was signed through who? What label were they signed under? If I'm not mistaken, weren't they signed to Interscope, owned by a white man and Jimmy Iovine? Make it make sense. Does Kendrick Lamar not work with white artists? The very same person that y'all hate Drake for being member Y'all said, Drake is a colonizer. Drake slept with a minor. Hold up. If I'm not mistaken, Kendrick Lamar has been endorsed by Eminem, right? Him and Eminem have a very close relationship. Hence, Shady Aftermath being a label that was under Interscope. 
he signed a Dr. Dre and they're all connected, right? Um, didn't Eminem call himself the rap Elvis? I believe so. And guess what? Elvis was known for dating a 13 or 14 year old, right? Speaking of colonizer, um, wasn't Elvis the one who stole rock and roll from black people? A a am, am I lost? But that's Kendrick Lamar's boy. He loved Eminem. So don't give me this whole colonizer bullcrap. We gonna be all right. Why wouldn't we be all right? We not shackled in chains. Ain't nobody beating us no more. Can't no white person stop you from going in there and getting a government job. Since, since y'all so against white people, don't the company that you work for, owned by a white man, walk off the job, nigga. You talking about Drake dating a minor and having all these issues with Drake. Yet, you work with Drake. And if it wasn't for Drake, majority of people wouldn't even know who you are. Because I sure as hell didn't know who Kendrick Lamar was until I heard Poetic Justice. And that goes for a lot of people who won't admit it. But Kendrick Lamar is a fraud just like the rest of them. He's a fake prophet. Kendrick Lamar, what is he doing for the kids in the inner cities? Why isn't he pushing against gang culture? He seems to embrace the lifestyle. Why isn't Kendrick Lamar outside right now with the people in Compton or uniting blacks all over the world to come together? We gonna be all right. Free concerts, going against the system, building our own Black Wall Street. Why isn't he on the front lines doing that right now since he's so Mr. Pro-Black? It's pandering at his finest. Kendrick Lamar is nothing more than an industry puppet. They utilize him to push agendas, which is why you're seeing Kendrick Lamar on stage in shackles. But it was 2016 when Kendrick Lamar had that performance on stage where he was in shackles handcuffed as if you know we were still enslaved and remember this was right during the time like the height of unarmed black men being killed by white cops so much racial tension in the air donald trump had just been elected you know he was just beginning his first term as the president so it was so fitting you had kendrick lamar up on stage looking very black had the cornrows looking like the average tyrone so he's supposed to be fighting the system supposed to be fighting white supremacy you know they're so critical of drake and the system being for drake if it's so rigged for drake and drake has all these industry connections and drake's an industry plant drake supposedly being controlled by the jewish people if the system is rigged for drake why would kendrick lamar have more grammys than drake make it make sense he even got more grammys than lil wayne you don't get that many grammys and you ain't take the oath kendrick lamar is supposedly the only rapper with a what what is it called a putzler putzler out of all the rappers, out of all the greatest rappers who have blessed the mic, you mean to tell me that Kendrick Lamar is the only one who was able to get one of those? But Kendrick Lamar is heavily protected by the elites. That's why he receives nothing but high praises all the time on these blogs and these articles. But he gets nothing but high praises by the mainstream media. Gets all these record spins for this They Not Like Us Negro Spiritual which is probably going to be the theme song for Kamala Harris' campaign because a bunch of black people have followed along and hopped on the wave. A song that's full of lies and actually does nothing, isn't meaningful to the culture at all. But he gets all the top placements and rankings. He's highly favored by the elites and the mainstream media and the higher ups. Kendrick Lamar was specifically handpicked to be this so-called hip hop savior and this ultimate warrior lyricist. Bro, the nigga had the nerve to call himself the boogeyman. The boogeyman of rap. Like, who you scared, bro? The boogeyman of rap. If you gotta call yourself the boogeyman, if you gotta call yourself the boogeyman, then you know you're not intimidating anyone at all and just trying to convince yourself that you're so scary. I mean, just imagine Freddy Krueger or Jason or Jeffrey Dahmer calling themselves the boogeyman. Like, they know what they could do. They know what they're capable of. They already know they have instilled fear in people. So they ain't got to call themselves the boogeyman. But they just want to brainwash us into believing that Kendrick Lamar is this goat. You ever wonder how is it that the hip-hop DXs of the world or the complex of the world, the shave room, vibe hip-hop new hip-hop whatever it's called etc it's like they're never objective or critical when it comes to kendrick lamar they're never unbiased of kendrick just nothing but high praises all the time like he's so perfect 
they even had him winning the battle with Drake before the battle even started. And according to them, he does no wrong. Like his albums don't flop. He has not one bad record before the album is even released. It's a masterpiece. I seen a headline from an article that said, Kendrick is the realest rapper of all time. Another title said, The Emancipation of Kendrick Lamar. Like they compared it to the, the Emancipation Proclamation. The time Kendrick took over my brain. Like what man lets another man take over his brain? Bro, these people are reading this. They're reading these articles and internalizing this stuff and they're running with it and repeating it. But it's almost like Kendrick invented hip hop. But then when you expose that, that he's none of these things, then they try to find something about you and try to downplay what you say or they just call you a hater. But when it comes to Kendrick, they want for us to worship him. They are clearly receiving major funding by these major labels and the higher ups, clearly to shape opinions. And then it's like this trickle down effect. It trickles right down to the YouTube content creators, people who do reaction videos, music purists or music connoisseurs. They don't even realize that their opinions have been influenced by these blogs and they're using their talking points. But bruh, I gotta say it, bro. I gotta say this. Like, just think about this. I'm not even a DMX fan, and I hate to switch topics. But do y'all not realize that I was old enough to witness the DMX era, bro? And do y'all not find it odd that DMX was literally one of the hottest rappers during his time? Had the summer on lock, bro. I remember 98, 99 cookouts, pep rallies, like, you know, after football games, before football games. DMX had the summer on lock, bruh. He got hits. I'm talking about impactful smash hits. And I know people right now who can recite a whole DMX song, but don't know not one Kendrick Lamar song. DMX songs are literally like anthems. So with all these DMX hits, how many Grammys do y'all think DMX got? <laughs> you guessed it, zero. Kendrick Lamar has more Grammys and has Grammys and DMX doesn't? And they think that Kendrick Lamar is better than DMX, bro. Make that make sense. Kendrick Lamar don't have no hits like DMX and not even a better rapper. Bro, I literally seen Lil Wayne dominate year after year, have the summer on lock. There's a bunch of Lil Wayne's walking around right now. He influenced generations, got far more classic singles and smash records and albums. But Kendrick Lamar has more Grammys then Lil Wayne, make that make sense, bro. Cause it ain't adding up to me. Do you realize this nigga Kendrick Lamar got more Grammys than T-Pain, bro? T-Pain. <laughs> I'm talking about T-Pain, bro. Y'all realize that T-Pain got endless hits. Kendrick Lamar is a created, manufactured hero. A guy by the name of Vladimir Lenin said it best. The best way to control the opposition is to lead it ourselves. And another one of the perks of being initiated within the fraternity and being a part of the secret society is that all of your dark secrets, all of your skeletons, all the evil things that you've done behind the scenes, they keep your skeletons in the closet and sweep all your dirt right up under the rug. And it's never mentioned to the public until they're done using you, which is what happened with Kendrick Lamar. The allegations about Kendrick Lamar physically abusing his fiance or his girlfriend no one's talking about it and everyone he's aligned with has a history of being physically abusive to women i.e dr dre i.e jimmy Iveen, i.e eminem so that goes to show you that he's a part of the secret society 